A man's mouth and fingers turn blue after using sexual enhancement drugs. This is what happened to his blood. JM is a 23-year-old male presenting to the emergency department minutes after becoming unconscious in the shower. His vital signs show an elevated heart rate, but normal temperature, blood pressure, and oxygen levels. There are no signs of trauma from falling in the shower, and he doesn't have any signs of stroke, such as facial droop or weakness in the arms or legs. His boyfriend with him in the emergency department heard a loud thud and came running to the bathroom to see what happened, only to find his boyfriend sprawled out on the floor of the shower. JM quickly regained consciousness. He endorsed a feeling of lightheadedness shortly after letting the hot water hit his body, but then he blacked out. After standing up and drying off, JM and his boyfriend noticed a blue discoloration to his fingernails, which is why they came to the emergency department, which is where we are now. The clinician notes a cyanotic or blue discoloration of JM's fingernails and mouth. He learns that JM has a history of asthma and perhaps this blue discoloration could be inadequate oxygen in his blood. But JM doesn't have any wheezing when listening to his lungs and he doesn't show any signs of difficulty breathing when answering questions. What could be causing these Smurf-like changes to JM? You see, JM and his boyfriend, they love each other. They love each other very, very much. They have recently been experimenting with new ways to enhance their sex lives. After trying some different toys and lubrications, they still were looking for ways to kick things up a notch. Then, one day, while looking for their next toy at the local adult store, they came across these little bottles of air fresheners. JM remembers watching an adult film where someone used them and feels that maybe this is the answer to unlock their sex life even more. JM purchases a bottle, brings it home, and uses them for the first time. He huffs some of it into his nose, and at first it stings his nostrils. But before he can be upset with the burning in his nose, a wave of warmth rushes over his face. He feels a full sensation in his throat, and his heart begins to beat fast. He is hit with a wave of euphoria, and JM is hooked. He and his partner continue to experimenting with the air freshener and enjoy a night of intimacy together. Fast forward several weeks and JM really enjoys how relaxed these air fresheners make him feel when bottoming for his boyfriend. So he gets more bottles of the air freshener in preparation for an intimate birthday weekend. After a night out celebrating, the boys come back home, break out their air fresheners and get prepared for action. After they've had their fun, JM gets up to shower when he passes out unconscious, which is where we pick up our story. EKG and routine blood work are all fairly normal and it isn't until clinicians obtain a MET hemoglobin level that they identify the problem. The normal range of MET hemoglobin in your blood is about 0% to 1.8%, whereas JM's was 26%. The cause of JM's symptoms have been found. He had a condition called MET hemoglobinemia, which was induced by huffing amyl nitrite, otherwise known as poppers. You may recognize part of that word, MET hemoglobinemia, Hemoglobin is the part of red blood cells responsible for carrying oxygen. But methemoglobin occurs when the hemoglobin structure changes. The iron within the hemoglobin gets oxidized and results in the inability to carry oxygen correctly. The nitrite in the air freshener or poppers that JM took changed the hemoglobin on his red blood cells to affect how oxygen is delivered to the tissues of his body. This is why his fingers and mouth turn blue. But what caused JM to pass out? Clinicians taking care of JM know that nitrates cause the blood vessels to dilate, thereby causing a drop in blood pressure. It is believed that the use of nitrites in combination with a hot shower caused transient but significant drop in blood pressure due to dilation of the blood vessels, resulting in poor oxygenation of the brain tissue, resulting in losing consciousness. These poppers are commonly used for sexual enhancement as they are documented to cause euphoric feelings and in particular for those engaging in anal intercourse helps relax the anal sphincter muscles for a more enjoyable bottoming experience. And when nitrites are combined with other medications known to drop blood pressure or cause vasodilation, things like alcohol, erectile dysfunction medications like Cialis or Viagra, or in this case, a hot shower, watch out or you might pass out. Fortunately for JM, he was minimally symptomatic, aside from the blue discoloration of his fingers and mouth. But some can have significant shortness of breath due to low oxygen availability. He was admitted to the hospital and started on IV fluids. His met hemoglobin level dropped from 26% down to 13% at two hours 
and then down to 2% at six hours. He was ultimately discharged the next day with resolution of his blue fingers and blue mouth. Treatment for methemoglobinemia is usually supportive, IV fluids and glucose, providing extra oxygen if needed, and if the met hemoglobin level is greater than 20%, you can consider starting a medication called methylene blue. Methylene blue will reduce the levels of met hemoglobin more quickly, and in the case of JM, where his level was 26%, clinicians considered using this medication, but since he was overall minimally symptomatic, they decided to withhold this treatment through shared decision-making with the patient and with poison control. It is not known exactly what dose of inhaled poppers will lead to this condition, but overall, there are about 10 case reports in the literature over the past 45 years of met hemoglobinemia induced by poppers. And this isn't to say that this met hemoglobinemia is the only issue that can arise from using poppers. If you get the liquid on your skin, it can cause some serious irritation and the post popper headache is always something to be aware of. If you ever have a potential toxic exposure to poppers or any other substance, please go to your local ER and consider calling poison control at 1-800-222-1222 I call them several times a month as I work in the emergency department and they are great. Be safe out there and avoid combining poppers with alcohol and erectile dysfunction meds. And if your fingers ever turn blue, remember this video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to live your life out loud.